we are excited to finally release our latest batch of piping hot photo presets, the Mango Street Film Emulation Collection. These have been in development for the past year and a half as we've worked to find a balance between the look of film and the versatility we want in photo presets. So we took seven of our favorite film stocks and created 16 presets for Lightroom and Photoshop. We've crafted these to work across a wide variety of subject matter, lighting conditions, skin tones, and camera manufacturers. Additionally, our goal is to create presets that work with very minimal tweaking. We like to make them as one click as possible, so you should never have to leave the basic adjustments panel in Lightroom when working with these unless you really want to. And before all of the comments of, why don't you just shoot film? Obviously shooting film is great, it's a lot of fun, but it's not always practical. The cameras, the film itself, and having it processed and scanned can cost a lot of money and it can also add several days of wait time to a project. The bottom line is both film and digital have their own benefits, but when you want that film look with the benefits of digital, well, presets like these will sure come in handy. So I'll show you how the presets look on a whole bunch of different photos, including some from our lovely subscribers. And at the end, I'll show you a bonus preset we're giving away for just 48 hours. So let's get into it. So as we go, I'm not gonna leave the basic adjustments panel at all. These presets won't adjust your exposure or white balance, so you'll need to make sure those two settings are looking good. The other thing I might adjust is the highlights and shadows if a particular photo needs it, but that's about it. So Cine Still is a really fun film stock to shoot with, and we wanted to bring that fun to digital. The 800T is designed for lower lit situations and is tungsten balanced, so if you shoot in cooler temperatures, your photos will have a bluer look to them. Now obviously with digital raw files, you can change the color temperature to whatever you'd like, but we still wanted to bring in a little dose of that blue. The Cine Still 800T portrait preset has a really nice soft look that works well on just about anything. Let's see it on a few more shots. The Cine Still Nighthawk is probably our most stylized preset, but we wanted something that would create dramatic night shots. So to show you the difference between the two, here's Cine Still Portrait on our friend Astronaut Will, and now here's Nighthawk. So you're gonna get a blue cast, which can be really fun when you have ambient light to play with, like this gas station here. And then we can add the classic red halation you'll see in some film shots later in Photoshop with our included halation actions. Now, since Nighthawk is so stylized, I usually only try to use it on night shots, but you could try it on other photos as well. Just know that it will add blue, so you can embrace it, or you can always warm up the white balance to bring things warmer if you'd like. So that's Cine Still. I think you'll find the portrait preset is just really versatile and can be used on anything. And the Nighthawk will really punch things up. Next up is Fuji Pro 400H, which Fuji announced they were discontinuing production of this particular stock, which is too bad. So we're glad we have these presets at least. I wasn't sure what to expect when I started creating these, but after months of tweaking, the Fuji 400 portrait preset is one of my all time favorites. It's got colder shadows, but warm midtones, so your subject really pops nicely with this contrast. Again, you can use it on just about anything, a wedding portrait, lifestyle, street photography, fashion, anything and everything. And just to give you a frame of reference, let's compare Fuji 400 to Cine Still. I love them both for different reasons, so it's totally up to you on what to use. The Fuji 400 landscape preset is fairly neutral. We wanted rich contrast and natural colors, so it'll work well with various subject matter, lighting conditions, color palettes, and so on and so forth. Fuji Provia is a really fun one to use. The film itself is a slide film, which means it produces a positive instead of a negative, like print films. Now, some slide film can be really vibrant and contrasty, but what we love about Provia is that it's softer with less contrast and really nice color without being over the top. Now, slide film can be a little pricey at $21 for a single 35 millimeter roll, and it can cost more to develop at the lab. With all that being said, I've really enjoyed slapping our Provia preset on all types of photos. 
To us, it really captures that still frame from a movie look that we love so much. You may find that you need to bump exposure on some photos after applying this preset, but I think you'll also find skin tones of all types look really good with this preset. I'm really excited to see how your photos look with Provia as well. Ektar is widely used for landscape and nature photography. It's known for saturated colors and rich contrast, and we don't normally think of it as a film stock for portraiture, so we took some of the qualities we like and then just adapted it to work better for human subjects. So the Ektar portrait preset has slight bluish purplish shadows, but we kept it pretty subtle. You'll find that it has a nice punch without being overly contrasty. The landscape version of this preset will do much of the same, except we aren't as concerned about preserving skin tones, so the yellows and oranges can have a bit more of a saturation punch to draw out some features in landscape and nature that you may want to highlight. Moving on to Kodak Gold. This is a relatively inexpensive film stock with pretty good saturation and contrast, but we wanted to dial that back just a little as sometimes details we want to preserve can get lost. So the Kodak Gold preset will have a slight greenish yellowish in the midtones and highlights. The alt version will favor more blues and magentas as opposed to those yellows and greens. So you can try either out and see which will work best for your particular photo. Next, we move on to Portra 160. This is one of our favorite film stocks since we are primarily portrait photographers and well, it's great for portraits. We've got four different presets for this particular film stock, so let's run through them. Portrait is the most neutral and cleanest of the bunch. Again, versatility is the keyword with this entire collection and you could slap this portrait preset on just about anything and go home happy. But if you want some more variation, SGR stands for Shadows Green. Clever, I know and we'll make a few tweaks, the main one being bringing a little green into the shadows. The Portra SMG preset will bring magenta into the shadows. I think both look really cool, so it'll just depend on what particular vibe you want, neutral, green, or magenta. Then finally, we have our landscape preset. This gives you more of that Portra flavor, but as with all the landscape presets, we aren't as concerned with skin tones, so we can punch up the yellows and oranges a bit. All right, I saved the best for almost last. Portra 400 is going to have some of the same qualities as the 160, but we crafted it to have a little bit more brightness and punch. The Portra 400 preset is super clean with warmth in the midtones. The Portrait Alt preset brings in a little magenta into the midtones, a little more saturation in the greens, and more richness in the shadows. So it ends up looking a touch moodier than the other Portrait preset. Then we have our landscape version, which favors blues more than the portraits. Our last preset is a bonus preset included for those of you who order within the first 48 hours. We created a black and white preset based off the Kodak Tri-X 400 film stock. This has rich contrast without losing too much detail in the highlights or shadows. We really love how it turned out and it works really nicely on portraits and landscapes. Might bump the exposure a little bit and that's it. So if you wanna get this bonus preset, you're gonna to need to be an early worm. Early worm gets the worm. And click the link below. The other thing you'll see in Lightroom is our grain killer and killer grain tools. If you don't like grain and just want an easy one-click way to remove it, grain killer will do that for you. If you remove grain and then you wanna add some back in, you can click killer grain and that'll add it back in. Cool. Also included with our presets are Photoshop actions to add halation to your images. If you aren't familiar, halation is the reddish orangish glow you'll usually find around bright overexposed areas of your film photos, but most film stocks have an anti-halation coating, so that's why you normally don't see it. The biggest exception to this is the Cine Still film stocks. They don't have that anti-halation coating, so that's why you'll get that glow in some of your images. There really isn't an ideal way to recreate this in Lightroom with a preset, so I'll cover how I add it in. First, I usually pair the halation with our Cine Still Nighthawk preset. So with this preset applied, I'll open the photo in Photoshop. So we have two custom actions, which allow you to select the highlights of your image, and then one that'll do it automatically. Sometimes you have a lot of highlights in your image and you don't want to go overboard with halation. So let's take a look at the first custom halation action. Just select the action and hit run, and then it'll prompt you to move the threshold slider to select the parts you want affected. 
So for this image, sliding it over to here should be pretty good. Then we're all done. Now let's say you want the halation to be a little bolder, a little stronger, but you still want to select the highlights yourself. Well, let's run custom halation strong. Same thing, just drag the slider to select and we're all done. You can then lower the overall opacity of the halation layers, or you can open up the folder and adjust the levels to get it just how you want. Then finally, we have the auto halation action. Now you can always try this one out first to see if you like the results. No matter what action you run, you can always open up the halation folder, click on this layer, and paint with a soft black brush to remove areas where you don't want any halation to appear. Okay, let's head back into Lightroom. I know there was a lot of different presets to get through, so I just wanna show you the difference between all of the portrait presets all on the same photo. So here's Cine Still, Fuji Pro 400H, Provia, Ektar, Gold, Gold Alt, Portrait 160, 160 with green shadows, 160 with magenta shadows, Portrait 400, and the 400 Alt. So we also really like using these presets on more mundane photos, not just selects from our favorite photo shoots. Let's take a look. So on Instagram, we asked all of you to send us some raw photos so we could show you what these presets look like on photos from other photographers with different cameras and different subjects and environments. So a big thank you to everyone who submitted their photos. That wraps up our latest preset collection. We hope you love them as much as we do. And remember, if you want that bonus Tri-X 400 black and white preset, it's only available for the first 48 hours. Just head to mangostreetpresets.com to swipe the new pack and then tag us on Instagram with the hashtag mangostreetpresets along with the name of the preset that you used. We'll be going through and then reposting some of our favorites to our stories. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. So I'll do maybe little comments <laughs> that, you know, that you can put in when relevant. Fire emoji.